Yeah, uh, going on to another pretty story, we'll be talking about a pretty story of development of the larynx. Uh, development of the larynx, which is basically um, the larynx itself, the cartilages, the ligaments, the musculature, and all have you, okay? So it's a beautiful story, and I feel we'll go through it, all right? So this is the development of the larynx. Focus is to discuss the development of the larynx. Also that the larynx develops from the cranial part of the respiratory diverticulum. Okay? Respiratory diverticulum. It develops from the cranial part of the respiratory diverticulum. Uh, the laryngeal epithelium and glands are derived from the endoderm. Okay? Laryngeal musculature are derived from the mesoderm of the fourth pharyngeal arches. Right? This is the fourth pharyngeal arches. And that is where the laryngeal muscles are derived from. Okay? So you should note that the mesenchyme is derived from neural crest cells. Okay? That's mesenchyme of the fourth pharyngeal arches is derived from the fourth, uh, the neural crest cells. Okay? So uh, you can see this is the fourth pharyngeal arches. And this is where the muscles of the larynx develop from. All right? The epithelium is derived from the endoderm. The musculature is from the fourth pharyngeal arches, the larynx itself, okay, is derived from the word cranial most part of the respiratory diverticulum. Then, epiglottis is derived from the caudal end of the uh, hypobronchial eminence, all right? So the epiglottis, this is the epiglottis, all right? And it's derived from the caudal uh, is right from the caudal end of the hypobronchial eminence, okay? And this, uh, this in turn is from the third pharyngeal arch mesenchyme, okay? So the hypobronchial eminence is from the third pharyngeal arch mesenchyme, all right? So you could safely say that the epiglottis is actually a derivative of the third pharyngeal arch mesenchyme. So other laryngeal connective tissues, including the cartilages, that's like, uh, that's a thyroid cartilage, a cricot cartilage, uh, the arytenoid cartilage, the corniculate cartilage, the cuneiform cartilage are from the mesenchyme of the fourth pharyngeal arches, right? So the cartilages and the muscles are all from the mesenchyme of the fourth pharyngeal arch. Then, the opening of the tracheoesophageal diverticulum into the primitive foregut forms the laryngeal inlet. Okay, so this is the laryngeal inlet, okay, and it's basically the opening of the tracheoesophageal diverticulum into the primitive foregut, okay? And that opening becomes a laryngeal inlet, okay? Laryngeal inlet, all right? So uh, we ended up talking about the development of the larynx, talking also talking about the epiglottis too, all right? So guys, that's a double lecture. And um, I'll see you guys in the next development uh, tutorial. And bye for now.